Hi, I'm Seth, and I'm a father in college. Oh, you say a lot of older parents went back to school? Good for them. I'm in my 20s with a 10-month-old son, five straight days of higher education, and two jobs. Want to know what it's like? Think it's student discounts, Father's Day gifts, and gooey gumdrops for everyone? Not a chance. It's a heavy dose of hard work and dedication, and the only candy coating is that sour layer that leaves your face all twisted up like bitter beer face commercials. Yeah, like that. You're tired? Suck it up, buttercup. Feed me before I knock you upside the head with a juice box. Oh, you think you're gonna do that 10-page paper on my time? Quit tripping, daddy. This my house. Oh, you think you're about to sleep? Are you serious? Get this poopy diaper off me, cause I'm about to go off on you. I'ma scream so loud my head spins like the exorcist and your eyes go crooked. I'ma scream so loud that if the neighbors next door don't call the Department of Family Services, that crazy lady across the street will. And once they come, they'll slap you till your mouth goes numb and you talk like Tracy Morgan. What now, daddy? <laughs> okay, okay, it's not that bad for me. I'm actually married. My wife does a lot of the care, and my son is a pretty good kid, at least during the day. To give you a good picture of what's really going on, I interviewed myself. I figured that the best way to tell you about um, college fatherhood would, would, would basically be to give you some of my own experience. So, so I'm a dad, and I'm in college, and my wife's in college too, um, so it makes it kind of difficult. You know, three days, three days out of the week, I'm in school during the day. One of those, one of those days, uh, she's actually in school at night, and so we just we kind of trade off. And um, I also work from home. I do I do graphic design. I do music, and um, so you know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of juggling and just just making sure that he's good and still balancing family stuff um, at the same time. A lot of times when when I'm home and I need to do certain things, you know, my wife might need to do homework, and then it's still, you know, it's still like, okay, so what's going on with Reason today? He's got a doctor's appointment at, you know, X time. You know, he's he's got to be there at two o'clock or something like that, and then, uh, you know, I might just be getting out of class at, at two. So you know, it's rough sometimes. It's definitely rough. It's different to be a parent um, in college and you know, have your partner, you know, like my wife and I, we've been married for five years, uh, six years now, and, you know, if if we weren't actually, you know, together and supporting each other during this time, it, it could be, it could be a lot more difficult. I mean, I could definitely see that. So, yeah, I'm sitting here doing homework and stuff. I, I have uh, a couple graphic classes, and my wife reminded me that, uh, there's, a, there's something going on in the park today. We're about to go over to the park and um, just have some good family time. And that's part of the college dad thing. What's up? What's up, dude? Say hi to your, 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 your fans. No? He said, I don't care about you guys. I do my own thing. I'm checking out the pool. Follow me on Twitter. What? Anyway, so, yeah, that's another thing about being a dad in college is that you have to break time to do those family things, like going to the park. He's got to get outside and interact with some other little midgets and all that other fun stuff. But in the midst of that, I was doing some homework earlier. Um, that's actually my third of six projects that I got to accomplish. And of course, this video that goes for sociology as well. Right now, uh, like this very, this very instant, I have, woo, I, I have about six graphic projects due. Um, and I, I actually was able to give myself time to do a lot of those. Um, I actually have I actually have all six done, but I have to redo something. So it's actually um, <laughs> it's actually like really late in the day right now. Uh, but tomorrow is Monday, and so I'm taking the time to um, actually come down and, and do this homework. Like I'm I'm pretty tired, but. Um, you know, I have a couple classes that I have to, that I, that I really have to make up. So, time management um, is something that, that really, time management is something that you really have to have a skill in. Um, I'm not like awesome at it, but I do have some certain things in mind that I know that I have to do uh, according to priority and responsibility. So, in our family, we both, kind of procrastinate, which is real bad when people do it um, on their own. Even worse when people do it in combination. 
So both of us, my wife and I, we both kind of procrastinate. Um, one thing that, that really hurts though is, you know, say my, my wife's class is on Monday and you know, I go, I go to class currently, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it's about to be Tuesday night and Thursday night as well, so I'm not having a full week. But anyways, um, when she has homework on, for Monday, for example, um, you know, it, it gets done, like, Monday, about a, f a few hours before class. Uh, so you know there's like a whole week that passes and then it's like okay so Monday is up again and I got this homework and stuff to do. She has this window of just a few hours basically between when I'm home and I can hold the son, you know our son and uh, when she actually has to be at her class. So you know that's that, that, that creates a situation um, when that procrastination happens. My procrastination is with, um, with my job. Okay, so I do I do graphic design um, in two two actually aspects. I, I work I work for a company doing graphic design, and I do freelance. Um, sounds like a conflict of interest, but it's actually kind of it works out. But anyways, so I do freelance work as well. Well, what happens is when I procrastinate and I don't do uh, you know certain things, tasks, and stuff that are required of me uh, in time, then she doesn't have again time to do her homework if she does want to do it earlier in the week and. Um, if I have homework for my classes that I have to do, um, but I procrastinated in work, then not only do I still, I, I have to do those homework assignments, um, I also have to, it's really kind of first, I have to do my work or else I won't have money to go to college. So it's, it's a weird, it's a weird kind of balance really, but it's basically that both of us, either one of us, if we procrastinate, it kind of throws a monkey wrench in the system and it shoots ourselves in the foot. Something I didn't address is the family dynamic with regard to the stresses of school, work, and raising a child. I give my wife a lot of credit because during the week there's a lot of hustle. I spend more time in school than she does and I'm also employed, so she gets the brunt of everything child related and honestly, I deal with the leftovers. It's really imperative to us that we make sure that our relationship with each other is good and godly because otherwise issues creep in. Issues like communication, respect, and the allotment of responsibilities are common in high-stress marital environments, but school, baby, or otherwise, your marriage is an ongoing relationship. It stops working when you stop trying, guaranteed. Part of our motivation for completing college is to be an example. So that's the gist of it. Fatherhood as a college student. I hope you enjoyed it, but moreover, if you're a young college parent like I am, I hope uh, you had something that you could take away from it. I hope it was educational and all that good stuff. Peace.